Thanks for watching Mid Morning on this Thursday. Everyone loves the State Fair. Everyone who matters loves the State Fair. And that includes Minneapolis Mayor Betsy Hodges, who stopped by the CCO booth for Mid Morning. Thanks for coming in, Mayor. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me. I love the fair. You were just telling the crowd about that. We'll talk. We have some tra uh, some fair questions. We want you to talk about your favorites in a second. But we do want to ask you a couple questions about news of the day. And uh, the Black Lives Matter protests, of course, have been uh, very prominent here at the State Fair. Big talker over the last couple days. Some officers not happy about a chant directed towards them. Different. Uh, some people, though, very supportive and nice, to, uh, happy to see that out here at the State Fair. You've seen. A protest in Minneapolis as well. They came to City Hall. Do you feel that the protesters have changed at all the way that you're all looking at policing in Minneapolis? Well, these are issues that when I became mayor, I, I continued the work I'd been doing as a city council member on community policing and police community relationships. We're part of a national initiative with the president's 21st century policing recommendations because we'd been moving forward on that work. But those are important voices. They're genuine issues of racial equity and equity in this country. But I also appreciate the way people have been thanking our officers for spending more time in the community and really building those relationships. You think you can be supportive of the protesters and still be supportive of the police officers? I am aware every day that our officers go out and put themselves on the line for each and every one of us. And that work is incredibly important and I appreciate it. We also need to make sure we're holding everybody to the highest possible standard at the city, and I know that's what people want, you know, the officers want themselves. Yeah, no question. Let's talk about soccer. No, word today coming out that it looks like St. Paul is going to get the MLS soccer stadium for the Minnesota United FC group uh, as they got elevated to the major league level. Do you feel this is a loss for Minneapolis? Uh, at first, they wanted to come to Minneapolis. Well, the site that they were considering is the one site in Minneapolis where we know economic development is coming, and the, the owner of the property said that himself last week. That said, I still think Minneapolis is the best place for the stadium. I appreciate the consideration of that investment, and we'll just keep talking as a city internally with our work group moving forward. You faced a little criticism early on that you didn't really meet with the group, that you signaled your opposition right away. If you had it to do over again, would you have met with them earlier? You know, I did meet with the group more than once. We've had those conversations. I think that they've been fruitful and productive, and I know the city overall was having those conversations. All right, we'll see what happens with that. Let's talk about the fair. You're a huge fan of the fair. What is it? What is it about the fair? Uh, you said you're a relatively recent convert. You didn't grow up going to the fair, but as an adult. I, we didn't come to the fair very much um, as a kid with my family a few times, but what's not to love about the fair? There's great people, there's great food, there's so much to do that's really fun no matter who you are. What is the one thing when you come to the fair you know you have to do it? Well, you know, we celebrated the 100th anniversary of Ye Old Mill, uh, the governor and the mayor of St. Paul and I, yeah. which is such a great The three of you were in one boat in the we Tunnel were. of Love? We were, you can see the selfie online. <laughs> you can see the selfie online. Yeah, Matt Brickman and I had a tour in the Tunnel of uh, we'll call it Yield Bill. It makes it a little more appropriate, I think. Favorite food? Favorite fair foods? You know, uh, I, the long lamented uh, deep fried spam curds oh, that they are no longer yeah, they're here. They're no longer with us. But, you know, yeah. this year for the first time I did have breakfast on a stick. And so that's delicious. And the gyros from Holy Land? Those are good. Fabulous. Right. Fabulous. But those are good at the Holy Land. Why would you come have those at the fair? Because they're good everywhere. That, that is true. <laughs> I'll give you that. It is. It does have to be fun for you. I mean, you're not known statewide, so are you able to be a little incognito when you come out here? Or do people come up and, you know, want you to fix their potholes still? A little bit from column A, a little bit from yeah, column B, right. especially when I'm here on official business. Um, you know, I. but it's always great to see people and talk to people. That's part of the reason to come to the fair. Right. Yeah, it's what I love about it, too. It's fun to have you on. Mayor Betsy Hodges, let's have a nice round of applause. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you very we'll much. We'll let you go eat or go, go in the tuck, go in yield. No, very Thank good. You.